I welcome my dear students for the second session of this PDE that is partial differential equation class. So, in this class today we are going to discuss uh, solve the partial differential equation by direct integration method. So, before going to that just I recall what we are learned in the previous class. In the previous class we are learned how to form a partial differential equation by eliminating arbitrary constants and functions. After that we are going to solve today how to solve the partial differential equation by direct integration. The partial differential equation which can be solved by direct integration in the place of usual constant of integration we must however use the arbitrary function for the variable L is fixed. So, this is the uh, procedure we have to follow for solving the problems by direct integration method. So, here we should extract the solution for dependent variable. So, suppose if z equal to function of x y we need a derivative to solve to get the value of z. So, these are the some problems is there now how to extract z that is in a uh, dependent variable with x and y that we are going to extract. Hmm. So, directly we are going to solve the problems we can the first problem solve. So, this is the problem they are given dou square z by dou x square that should be equal to x plus y. So, this is the problem given. So, you should have to extract the value of z here is z is a function of two variable x and y. We should extract the value of z by integrating twice with respect to x then after that we get the value of z. So, as usual so integration integrate with respect to x partially twice. Now, to integrate with respect to x twice the first time integration we get like that this dou square z by dou x square into dx x into dx plus here with respect to x y treated as a constant 1 into dx plus with respect to x we treated a constant in terms of a function that is a variable f of y. After integration one of the term will be cancelled we get only dou z by dou x one of the derivative will be cancelled because an anti derivative of the integration. Then after that the integration of x with respect to x we get an x square by 2 plus then y is a constant we get an x plus f of y. So, this we get now then after that so one more x is there now we are going to elimination of that x again we are going to integrate with respect to x. Now, I am going to integrate with respect to x integrate with respect to x again partially. So, this become dou z by dou x then 1 by 2 is constant here an x square into d x plus y is a constant then x into d x this is also a constant with respect to x that is an f of y into 1 into d x plus some constant you can treat it in terms of other variable that is g of y. After integration these two are cancelled we get anywhere dependent variable z will be obtained now. The integration of this uh, x square with respect to x uh, we get an x power 3 by 3 plus y then integration of this x square by 2 plus f of y is a constant the integration of 1 with respect to x we get an x plus g of y is a constant. So, so finally, we get z is an x power 3 by 6 plus x square y by 2 plus x into f of y plus g of y. So, this is the required solution to extract the value of a dependent variable z by direct integration method. Okay. So, similarly we are going to do for the next problem. So, before that just I recall it now. So, the given problem will be given here now. So, I have to integrate this one with respect to x twice partially with respect to x partially 
two is because I am going to extract the value of z. So, that is why I am going to integrate this one two times. The first time integration we get like that dou z by dou x one of the derivative will be washed out after differentiation integration with the differentiation of a function. Then x become x square by 2, then y into x, then again f of y. Instead of integration constant, we should apply a and variable. Then again you have to integrate with respect to x, we get dou z by dou x, it is 1 by 2, the x square of integration again x power 3 by 3, then here x is x square by 2, then f of y, this is a constant, but if constant 1 is there now, integration with respect to x, we get x, then g of y. The finally, we get the uh, solution like that. Then I move to the second problem. The second problem here not again. Do square z by do x into do y should be equal to x by a x by y plus a second problem I am going to do. See here, so again your z is a dependent variable on x and y. So, I am going to extraction of z. You have to integrate first with respect to x, then with respect to y. We have to integrate this one with respect to x first, then y. Totally have, again you have to differ, integrate two times for the extraction of your z. So, again first, first I am going to integrate with respect to y or x, whatever you can do. So, alternatively, you can do it integrate with respect to x partially. Whenever if you integrate with respect to x partially, we have to keep the value of y as a constant. See so here the integration of this one dou square z by dou x into dou y. Here dx I am doing with respect to x. 1 by y is a constant then x plus into d x plus a is a constant 1 into d x plus with respect to x I have to write an integration constant some a variable form that is g of y. Now, integration one of the x will be cancelled we get only dou z by dou y then 1 by y the integration of x with respect to x this is x square by 2 plus a into x plus g of So, this is the uh, results obtained integration with respect to x. Then after that the remaining term you have to integrate with respect to y. Whenever if you are doing with respect to y keep the term x as a constant. Now, now again integrate with respect to y partially. So, that means you have to keep the variable x as a constant now here we get dou z by dou y with respect to y here x square by 2 is a constant then integration of 1 by y dy plus a is constant x is also constant here 1 is there now with respect to y plus here g of y is a function of y plus some f of x you can treat it as now. We are doing with respect to y here x is a constant, we are assumption of a variable constant in terms of a variable. The integration of this we get only a z x square by 2, then 1 by y it is a logarithm of y, the integration of 1 by it is a logarithm of y plus a x y integration of y with respect to 1 is y plus so, it is an integration we does not know what we get now, it is an arbitrary function. Simply we can call as a capital letter the f of y plus some f of x. Here where you can assume like that f of y equal to integration of g of y into dy because it is an arbitrary function. So, that can be eliminated like that we get the required solution of the equation. So, this is the required a solution of this problem. Then we move to similarly the one more next problem. So, 
So, it is a third order problem you are going to solve now here now. So, it is a solve, it is a dou cube z by dou x square into dou y it should be equal to plus 18 x y square plus sin 2 x minus y should be equal to 0. So, this is the problem will be given. Now, now it is a considered it is a third order derivative. If you want to extract the value of z, we need a 3 times have to do the integration work. The first to 2 times with respect to x, then the resulting term with respect to y. As we solution, now integrate with respect to x twice partially in that case y is fixed or simply as a constant you can write on like that y is a fixed or simply a, is a constant now integration with respect to x now i'm going to directly write down here now is a third order become second order after integration this is dou x into dou y so, one of the term will be eliminated after integration one derivative. So, we get dou square z by dou x into dou y plus with respect to x I am doing 18 constant y square is also constant the integration of x with respect to x we have to write down as an x square by 2 plus again with respect to x the integration of sin with respect to x is minus cos 2 x minus y then all divided by 2 this is an integration of this then should be equal to 0. After simplification we get dou square z dou x into dou y should plus 2 ones are it is a 9 times 9 y square x square minus cos 2 x minus y then all divided by 2 should be equal to 0 first integration with respect to x we get the result like that. Now, in third order it reduced to second order. Now, again you have to reduce third second order to first order again one more time you have to integrate with respect to x I already told in the beginning I have to do the integration work with respect to x two times. Now, we get dou z by dou y again integrate with respect to x integrate with respect to x again. So, now we get dou z by dou y because one of the order will be reduced now plus with respect to x 9 constant y square here x become x power 3 by 3 after integration of x square with respect to x it become an x cube by 3 minus and also have to remember one thing here you have to write down the constant with respect to x this is an f of y the constant will be needed here now or you can write on other side or whatever it may be it is an f of y here also an f of y then integration of this with respect to x it is a sin 2x minus y divided by already 1 2 is there one more 2 will be appear this become a 4 should be equal to then integration of this one f of y is a constant after integration of this one with respect to x, we get x plus some some other constant we are say h or g whatever it can call g of y. Now, again we have to do integration with respect to y uh, x partially we get like that that is dou z by dou y 9 y square is a constant. Now, integration of x square is x cube by 3 minus the integration of sin is cos cos integration of cos is sin that is sin times of 2 x minus y divided by already 1 2 is there one more 2 will be appear it become 4. Then this is already a constant obtained from the first time integration f of y is a constant with respect to x we get 1 that is in 1 the integration is x then one more constant will be appear that one we call as a function g of y. Simplification of this we get dou z by dou y plus or cancellation of this we get 3 y square x power 3 minus sin 2 x minus y then all divided by 4 
should be equal to x into f of y plus g of y. So, now I got uh, dou z by dou y after integration of a function two times. So, now I wanted to your dependent variable z. So, again one more derivative will be present here. If you go to elimination of that, we are going to integrate this one also with respect to y now. If you integrate with respect to y, if you integrate with respect to y partially, this dou z by dou y it becomes z plus. Now, integration with respect to y, your 3 constant and x cube is also constant. That means, x you have to fix it. Fix it means a constant. Then, y square become y cube by 3. No cancellation of these two minus. Again, the integration of sin, now I am going to with respect to y. Sin is a function of x and y. It is a minus cos times of 2x minus y, then all divided by minus 4. This is an integration of sin 2 x minus y with respect to y. The sin becomes the minus cos of 2 x minus y. After that, inside the term, the coefficient of y is minus 1 is there now. After integration, it comes here now, denominator. Now, cancellation of these two negatives should be equal to x is a constant. Now, integration of f of y with respect to y. Now, it is a function of y now. I have to integrate this one with respect to y, then plus again integration of g of y with respect to y. Hmm. Of simplification, we get z plus then x cube by y cube, it is a minus cos of 2x minus 4, then all divided by 4 should be equal to x into and also after integration here one more constant will be appear in terms of x that one we write an h of x whatever you can call say h phi whatever what you want you can call, call as in uh, convenient this is a capital f of y plus this is capital g of y plus h or w whatever you can call here now so this is the uh, required uh, solution we get now see here capital F of x and g of y these are and h these are all called arbitrary functions. So, this is the uh, required solution after uh, solving this problem to extract your dependent variable z. Then I move to the next problem. So, this is the fourth problem we are going to solve this one. Solve it is a, a dou square z dou x into dou y equal to sin x into sin y for which some initial condition will be given in this problem for which dou z by dou x y dou y z by dou y is minus 2 sin minus 2 sin y when x equal to 0 and z equal to 0 if y is odd multiple odd multiple multiples of pi by 2. So, this is the problem will be given. So, here some initial condition will be given what happens if dou z by dou y is minus 2 sin y when x equal to 0 and also z 0 when y is an odd multiples of pi by 2. So, that means what we are after to solve after integration of a given function we get a some constant in terms of a variable. So, that value you have to find out by using this condition. Okay. In the solution, here dou square z by dou x into dou y equal to 
sin x into sin y this is the problem a given. So, again as usual I am going to here also extract the value of z. If I am going to extract the value of z here second order is there now first with respect to x then with respect to y it is a second order partial derivative and it is a mixed partial derivative. If you go to extraction of this we need a two times integration one time is with respect to x in that time you have to fix a, a constant of y then after that the resulting term you have to integrate the given function with respect to y by keeping the constant as an x term. Now, first integrate with respect to x partially then you have to keep y is a fixed. We get dou z by dou x with respect to x we get only we have x will be cancelled we get dou z by dou y should be equal to with respect to x uh, sin y is a constant. Now, integration of sin x with respect to x it is minus cos x plus some a constant you can call as in some constant f of y whatever you can call. Now, call this as an equation number 1. Some initial condition will be given in the what is the first initial condition they given here dou z by dou will be y will be given. So, that value is minus 2 of sin y using that value in equation 1 we get the value of an arbitrary function that is an f of y given. So, directly can substitute here now given dou z by dou y this value is minus 2 sin y when x equal to 0 this is the condition will be given in the beginning. Instead of this you putting here minus 2 sin y equal to minus sin y and in place of x you put 0 cos 0 plus f of y. Now, transfer this term here now minus 2 sin y we know the value of cos 0 the cos 0 value is 1 we have minus sin y plus f of y. After simplification of this transfer this function to here we get minus sin y for the value of your f of y. Now, I get the value of f of y. Now, I am going to substitute this f of y in equation 1. Now, we get the value of f of y. So, write down here now equation 1 equation 1 becomes your equation 1 becomes just after no, substituting here directly no, this one your equation 1 become dou z by dou y should be equal to minus sin y cos x in place of f of y you put it here now minus sin y Now, call uh, this is your uh, equation obtained after substitution after find outing the value of f of y. Now, substitute in the equation we get this. Now, I wanted to z now if I wanted to z again I have to integrate integrate with respect to y partially by keeping the term x as a constant. Now, we get z should be equal to now integration of this one with respect to y here cos is constant minus cos x is a constant term and integration of sin y with respect to y this is minus cos y again here minus is there integration of sin is minus cos y plus some arbitrary constant simply you can call as in some g of x instead of constant we have to put here some variable ok. Now, call this as a before that of simplification of this z equal to minus into minus plus cos x cos y then plus cos y plus g of x. So, this is the z will be obtained here now call this as an equation number 2. Now, now use the second condition already given the initial condition one condition we already used to extract the value of dou f of y. Now, I am going to extract the value of g of x by using the second condition. 
what the given here now given z equal to 0 in place of z you put as a 0 and here the giving y is an odd multiple of pi by 2 what is your odd multiple so that means you have to see here you are going to write down here cos 1 pi by 2 what is this value this become 0 cos 90 value is 0 is an odd multiple they ask to you suppose if I am taking cos 2 pi by 2 so it is an even do not take this one so I wanted to hear now odd means it is 3 pi by 2 again this value becomes 0 then cos 5 pi by 2 again this is also 0 simply dot 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 I want to do an odd multiple by giving n equal to 1 2 3 like that so that one we are going to write down is an odd multiple is a cos of 2 n plus 1 pi by 2 here you are giving a n equal to 1 0 1 2 3 dot 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 like that if you giving a 0 n equal to 0 this become cos pi by 2 this value become a 1 then if you get n equal to 1 this become 5 pi by 2 like that <laughs> 1 if you giving n equal to 1 this is 3 pi by 2 again that value is also 0 then n equal to 2 is become a 5 pi by 2 that value is also 0 simply the odd multiple we can write down as cos of 2 n plus 1 pi by 2 the value of 2 n plus pi by 2 again this value is 0 in all the cases that value becomes 0 totally 2 n pi by 2 that value is also become 0 so simply we can write down y is 2 n plus 1 pi by 2 that we are going to write down here now now I'm going to substitute here now this become 0 now substitute the value of z equal to 0 and y equal to 2 n plus 1 into pi by 2 in equation 2 if I am going to substitute that one we get like that 0 equal to cos x then cos of 2 n plus 1 pi by 2 this is an odd multiple plus cos of 2 n plus 1 pi by 2 plus g of x so we know the value of cos 2 n plus 1 pi by 2 that value is here if you giving n equal to 1 it is a pi by 2 so cos pi by 2 we know everyone the cos pi by 2 value is 0 now if you giving 1 this become a 3 pi by 2 that value is also 0 totally you can substitute here now this becomes 0 this value becomes 0 0 plus 0 plus g of x then finally we get g of x value is 0 now I am going to substitute this value here we get z equal to that is equation 2 equation 2 becomes your equation 2 becomes z equal to cos x cos y plus cos y this value becomes 0 from these two you can get a common factor of cos y we get cos x plus 1 either you can write on the solution in this form or keep the solution in this form so this is the uh, required a uh, solution or your z that is your dependent variable we get the solution in this form cos y into cos x plus 1 so this is the required solution and then you move to the next problem <coughs> fifth one now the same type problem so initial condition the given you have to solve dou square z by dou x square should be equal to x y for which for which dou z by dou x this value is a logarithm of 1 plus y when when x equal to 1 and and also some initial one more condition will be given z equal to 0 when x equal to 0 these are the two initial condition will be given this problem is exactly similar what you done in the previous one 
but some initial condition will be changed and also the derivative what they given in the previous one is exactly a changes will be there. Again the solution is dou square z by dou x square should be equal to x y. So, already you know how to solve these type of problems from the previous all the three four problems. Now, here again I am going to extract the value of z by integration that particular term two times. Now, I am going to integrate with respect to x two times that is r twice whatever you can call with respect to x. If I am doing with respect to x first we get dou z by dou x should be equal to y is a constant this become x square by 2 plus you put as some integration constant in terms of another variable is simply we can call as an f of y whatever you can call the variable depending depending on your convenient we call as an f of y. Now, call this as an equation number 1 why I am calling because I want to extract the value of f of y using the first condition of dou z by dou x they given here now as in logarithm of 1 plus y and also the correspondingly they are giving the value of x equal to 1. Now, now putting here now given given dou z by dou x it is a logarithm of 1 plus y and when x equal to 1 this is the condition they given now. Then after that now substitute here now logarithm of 1 plus y that should be equal to now I am going to substitute here now x equal to 1 this become y by 2 plus f of y this is a logarithm of 1 plus y minus y by 2 that is f of y. Now, I got the value of f of y as in logarithm of 1 plus y minus y by 2 this is f of y. Now, now I am going to substitute this f of y in equation 1. What we get now here equation 1 becomes I am going to substitute the equation 1 becomes I am going to write down here now we get dou z by dou x that should be equal to as usual this equation is x square y by 2 plus now to substitute the value of f of y this one it is a, a logarithm of 1 plus y minus y by 2. So, now I got the equation 1 in this form x square y by 2 plus a logarithm of 1 plus y minus y by 2. Now, I am going to extract the value of z integrate now with respect to z sorry with respect to x partially again already told in the beginning two times. If you integrate with respect to x this become your z here y by 2 is a constant the integration of x is x power 3 by 3 plus here logarithm of 1 plus y then minus y by 2 both are constant whenever if you are doing a integration with respect to x simply you can write down it is a logarithm of 1 plus y minus y by 2 into x plus some g of y already g you can call as some uh, g of y. Now, call this as an equation number 2. So, already we are used one condition. So, that is an uh, dou z by dou x condition we already use. Now, I am going to use the second condition by giving the value of z equal to 0 and value of x equal to 0. What we get now check here now put z equal to 0 and so when z equal to 0 when x equal to 0 now I am going to substitute here now in this equation now. If you are giving a z equal to 0 this becomes 0 
in place of x you put it 0 this is also 0 plus you put it here x the entire term is also become 0 plus g of y. Now I got the g of y value is a 0. Now I want to substitute this g of y in equation 2 we get z that should be equal to x power 3 y is 6 now it is a 2 3 is a 6 plus it is a logarithm of 1 plus y minus y by 2 into x. So, this is the required a solution. This is the required solution of P D. So, this is the way we can solve the problem by direct integration method. Okay. So, before going to the uh, next uh, uh, type, just I recall this once. So, whenever if you go to solve the P D E by direct integration method, you should first have to observe how many time you have to integrate this one, either one time or two times or three times depending upon the order of the derivative. In all the cases, you should put instead of constant as a variable. Suppose, if you integrate the function with respect to x, the constant you have to write down in terms of the other variable y, what is the variable the present in the given equation. And the same thing can also apply for the further integration. Suppose, if you are going to integrate with respect to y, the constant what they obtain in place of y, you have to put the constant as in some function. So, this is the procedure we have to follow by direct integration. This is the one uh, question we can expect in your examination also. So, the next method is there now. <laughs> in the last session uh, for you uh, less convenient of time, uh, the, this type of problem we are not solved. So, today I am going to uh, utilize the time to solve the, this problem. So, form a PDE by eliminating arbitrary function. So, this type of problem I not done in the previous class. So, now I am going to solve this. It is a z is a function of y plus x plus g of y plus 2 x. Now, call this as an equation number star. Now, it is a form a PDE by eliminating arbitrary function. So, here two function is there now f and g. How to form a P D E by eliminating this? So, here a two arbitrary function is there, we are going to elimination of that, we need definitely two second order, second or higher order derivative. So, first you have to simply say so, uh, two variable is there known f and g. I am going to differentiate this one partially with respect to their corresponding variable second and higher order. If I am going to differentiate this one with respect to x, that is simply dou z by dou x instead of this I am calling as notation is a p with respect to x this is f dash y plus x plus g dash y plus 2 x into 2 with respect to x. Now, again I have to differentiate with respect to y. So, you can call uh, we can better to add uh, now here now with respect to y this is dou z by dou y. I am simply calling this as an q with respect to y this become f dash y plus x then g dash y plus 2 x. This is the first order. Now, I am going to second order because y I need second order because two arbitrary function is there now f and g. I am going to elimination of that we need second order. Now, again I have to differentiate this one with respect to x. This is dou square z by dou x square simply we can call as an r f double dash y plus x plus g double dash y plus 2 x into 2 already 1 2 is there one more 2 will be appear this become 4 and this one dou square z by dou y square this is simply t this become f double dash y plus x plus g double dash 
y plus 2x. So, inside the term y is there after integration with respect to y we get 1. Now, call this as an equation number 1, call this as an equation number 1. Now, then after that mixed derivative we are going to do here now dou square z by dou x into dou y that is simply we can call as an s. Now, already once you differentiate the function with respect to x that one you are going to differentiate with respect to y. So, we get like that s equal to f double dash y plus x plus g double dash y plus 2 x into 2. Now, call this as an equation number 2, uh, better to write down a 2 here now, it is well convenient for you y plus 2 x. Now, call this as an equation number 2 and call this as an equation number 3. Now, just uh, using equation 1, 2, 3, we are going to so, extract the fun, uh, PDE by eliminating the arbitrary function that is an f, f double dash, g, g double dash. So, I am going to extract that one by using equation 1 and 2. Next, just I am doing here 1 minus 2. If I am doing equation 1 minus 2, if I am doing equation 1 minus 2, simply we get r minus s. The subtraction of these two with respect to 1 minus 2, one of the term will be cancelled that is an f double dash, we get like that. So, if we subtract 4 minus 2 is there, it is a 2 times of g double dash y plus 2 x and also in the same way, we can also do 2 minus 3, again we are going to extract f double dash. If I am doing 2 minus 3, this become s minus t, it should be equal to, now going to subtract from this, we get only g double dash y plus 2 x. See here, this f double dash in both the case will be cancelled. Then subtraction from this to this, 2 minus 1, we get only g double dash. Now, call this as an equation number 4 and call this as an equation number 5. Now, I am going to, now very easy for uh, eliminating of g double dash. If you are going to divide these two, now divide equation 4 by 5, we get like that r minus s divided by s minus t that should be equal to 2 times of g double dash y plus 2 x then all divided by g double dash y plus 2 x. Now, cancellation of these two, we get r minus s by s minus t should be equal to 2 by 1. Now, continuation of this one here, we make a cross multiplication, we get r minus s should be equal to 2 times of s minus t. The further simplification work r minus s 2 s minus 2 t. After the rearranging of the function r, now send it here now, minus s minus 2 s plus 2 t should be equal to 0. That is an r minus 3 s plus 2 t equal to 0. This is the uh, required PDE by eliminating arbitrary functions for a second order derivative. Okay. Uh, you can also keep the answer in this form, you know, continuation of this one here now after this, after writing this, I am going to write down uh, here. So, you can also keep the answer in this form r that is in dou square z by dou r square minus 3 dou square z dou x into y plus 2 times of dou square z by dou y square should be equal to 0. Either keep the answer in this form or in this form. So, that is your convenient. So, in the same way we can also do one more problem is there now here yeah, for your convenient and just I will explain uh, in your system. So, see here uh, this is the problem they given z equal to f of y minus 2 x plus g of 2 y minus x. Again a two function is there now, you are going to elimination of this. Uh, I have to instead of z is use there now change it as an z. You have to differentiate the z partially with respect to x and y. If with respect to x for this function, it is a minus 2 times of f dash y minus 2 x. Again, I have to differentiate with respect to x, we get minus g dash 2 y minus x. And same way, we have to differentiate this z with respect to y partially, we get this equation. 
and also the differentiate this one with respect to x we get r. So, that is in 4 times minus minus one more minus will be appear this is plus 4 times of y double dash minus 2 x plus g double dash minus 2 y minus x. So, again the mixed partial derivative to do it now here now it is a mixed partial derivative we call as an s f double dash y plus x and 2 g double dash y plus 2 x now call this as an equation number 2. So, now what you have to differentiation of a a function partially with respect to y again you have to differentiate one more time we get like that that is notation we call t that is an f double dash y plus x g double dash y plus 2 x. After calling uh, the second order with r s and t equation 1 2 3 like that then after that we are going to do 1 minus 2 we get like this and again 2 minus 3 we can get like this after simplification of these things we get the required result. In the same way, we can also solve that is a one more problem is there now for your convenient just have to go through for these things the first order partial derivative, the second order here first order with respect to x, y the second order with respect to x then with respect to partial mixed partial derivative and also this one. So, here what we do here make a simultaneous equation for cancellation of any one of the equation either that means either f or g for your convenient by multiplication of some of the constant by 2 or 3 whatever it may be. The more simplification of this we get the equation 4 and 5 in this form. So, after that we are going to divide these two we get an equation. The for the first simplification work finally, we get 2 times of z double x that is a second order partial derivative it is a mixed partial derivative and this is the final required partial differential equation by eliminating arbitrary functions. So, this is the kind of